What's going on, you guys? Slim back here with another video for you guys. Uh, it's rare I'll really upload like two videos in one day, but I couldn't resist talking about this deck. As you guys already know, I've got Jesse Cotton second place, so close to winning LCS number nine, Dry Ton, Dry Tron deck profile. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell, you guys will be notified whenever I upload. You also be notified when I stream over on Twitch. Your boy is back on Twitch, so as always, link in the description. Be sure to check that out. We actually had a test stream earlier, so definitely check that out. As always, um, if you guys want to build this deck, and Jesse said it himself, he put, made a post about it. He actually posted his deck profile before we even got the list from the LCS from Luxury Gaming. And he said, you know, pick up this deck. So when you know an amazing player like Jesse, easily the best player in the game right now, tells you to pick up a deck, you know, you do it. If you guys want to do that, use my TCG player link. It's in the description below. A portion of what you spend will go back to the channel to help me out. And I really appreciate it. Last but not least, if you want to join my Patreon, you guys already know. Links in the description. I've told you guys a million times what it's about. I want to focus on this deck profile. So yeah, if you guys want to visit any of that, it's in the description. But this video today is about Jesse's deck. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have no clue what this deck was supposed to do. I had no idea going in. I knew there was talk about players picking up this deck. Shout out to my boy Pac. I see you, Pac. He just uploaded his deck profile. Definitely go check that out. My boy got top 16. Like, he just built the deck and got to 16. Like, that tells you me so much about just how powerful this deck is. His deck is a little different than Jesse's, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go through it and give you guys my best explanations about it. Like, just to give an analyzation of it. Because I see, like, no one's really covering it just yet. I'm sure we'll have more videos on it. But, you know, your boys got you. If I can't be at the, uh, the IRL events, you know, I got you on certain profiles. We already got first place up. So let's talk about second place, especially from such a well rounded and just one of the best players in the game jesse cotton i'll do my best to explain it to you guys your boy is learning as well so bear with me we'll go through it we'll talk about it we'll talk about why it got as far as it did you guys can probably already guess the obvious reasons but i think that when a player of jesse's caliber decides to pilot this deck of all of their decks it says a lot of things it says that instead of going with the meta he decided to establish in a sense a new meta and he did that by playing this deck so we will get into it the first card i'm just gonna tell you the way that this sorted on edo pro now the fact that this is the first card in it speaks miles for this deck and not only that the fact that this card actually did see play i was watching the finals game two against uh against luke he literally summoned this and this is a one-sided vanity screen for those of you that don't know vanity's ruler super old card it's a fairy of course and it literally says it can't be special summon your opponent your opponent just your opponent cannot special summon monsters that already in itself is crazy he established this lancy in him and just proceeded to go off no one is winning that game if you don't have an impermanence or a way to even try to out this card like i don't know how you play like i just don't know how you play this card is crazy i don't think anyone thought that this card would be in the main deck but yeah it, this card is crazy one side of Andy's feet not to mention you see i'm already overwhelmed and we've only gotten to the start of the deck profile. he's also maining triple lancia this card is a fair why I think I know all I think all artifacts are fairies, but still, that's a little crazy when you think about it. He was comboing to get to this card. And this card literally tells Virtual World, your Quinglong engrave, your Chuchi engrave, your trap, your spell, any of your banish effects off Nyan Nyan, none of it works. That is insane. The fact that this is in the main deck is crazy crazy to me like that literally just tells you along with the other hand traps you see main deck like this is insane that this card is in the main deck and that you know you can do so much with it so this is just insane this is just you know obviously we haven't even gotten to the drytron part but this is just crazy that you can main deck this this speaks mileage to the potential of the deck and we've just started guess what you guys it's not the 15th yet which means we are playing under the new list and guess what the meta is already establishing itself it's crazy uh, next we have Dawn Knight. So this is the card that I saw he was, I believe he was equipping with uh, with the Union Carrier that's here in the uh, in the extra deck. Now like I said, I'm still getting used to it. 
and you basically equip one monster and what this card reads is that if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can send a light monster from your deck to the graveyard so of course that has synergy if this card is sent for itself is sent from your deck to the graveyard target a light monster in your graveyard place that target on top of your deck so that helps you get into combos and some of and one of the dry tron lets you draw cards so you guys can already see the synergy there he only played one manju clearly that's all he needed again i'm not super versed in the deck but clearly from this it just shows that's all he needed Triple Herald of the Orange Light. Uh, this card is crazy. Uh, just negates a monster effect. Crazy. You discard this and another fairy. It's ridiculous. So this card is insane. And then he also went as far as to play Purple Light, which is a, a one for uh, if your opponent uses a trap card. So this is crazy. Like if they, I guess if they evenly you or something, Ice Dragon's Prison. I guess any real problematic trap card. Very good against Eldritch. Very good against any problematic trap cards. Even Shizm, stuff like that. That could slow you down like a Winda. You can negate it. So this card's great. Now onto the Drytrons. So again, your boy is not super versed in them. On EDO Pro, they still have the old names, but we'll still go with what we've got here. We've got two copies of Altaeus. And basically Altaeus is you can reveal a monster or a spell and you can draw a card. So that's pretty good. He's got the one copy of Rat Wizard. Rastabon. So Rastabon is basically you can return a banished Drytron card to your graveyard. You then got the one copy of Eltanen. And Eltanen is basically you can special one of your Drytrons uh, if it has 2,000 attack and they basically all do from your graveyard. So that's very strong. Those are the ones he played like two and one of. And then he decided to max out on uh, the triple copies of the all Aldaba. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but anyways, and what this is able to do is you're able to add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand, so that's very strong, and then you've got the uh, three copies of the Thuban, like these names are insane, I'm just going to tell you right now, the, the Thubans are literally a... Uh, oh my gosh this is crazy i'm just getting overwhelmed just because of their names and whatnot but basically this one is able to add a ritual monster from your deck to your hand so you guys can see you can just piece together all your ritual cards with these cards they're like free summons and stuff like that so it's very very strong so that's all the drytron uh main monsters as well as of course the boss monster the uh the one boss monster which is the drytron atonis draconid so there's that and then he is playing the one copy of Ava so I haven't seen this card I think I saw this card the last time I saw this was in counter fairies so this card is sent to the graveyard you can banish up to two other light fairies from your field in your graveyard add the same number of level two or lower light fairy monsters from, uh, with different names from your deck to your hand except itself so obviously this has synergy with the Drytron. we already talked about uh, Draconids and then of course probably like one of the best deck cards in the deck the three copies of Ben 10 it's not once per turn but you could ritual summon this card um, if this card uh, destroys a monster by battles into the graveyard inflict damage to your opponent that's not what's important if this card is tributed you can add a light uh fairy monster from your deck to your hands so you know what that means you guys when you tribute this card off for the drytron effects you literally can search land sand and vanity's ruler that is ridiculous not once per turn yeah cyber angels came back in a crazy way then he is playing natasha so i had no idea what this card was i saw a lot of people posting about it so natasha basically reads I'm reading it basically for the first time as well. So Natasha reads, you can ritual summon this card with machine and you it once per turn, you can target one phase of monster you control gain. Light points equal to half its attack. When a ritual monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other cyber angel. So basically it's bend 10 from your graveyard, then target one monster your opponent controls, special summon this card. If you do take control of that monster, so it's a way to get rid of the thing. It also can save you in the long run. Everyone thought if he had this card in the finals, he would have probably survived and gotten another turn, but unfortunately that's not how it played out, but still this is crazy. But that is it for all the monsters for the spells. Of course, Triple Cyber Emergency, because it just lets you add the light machine monsters you need. And guess what? That's what all the Drytrons are. It's pretty crazy. The one foolish burial combos with pretty much every card in the deck. You've got the Drytron Nova. This is your e tally from the deck, which is crazy. You've got your three pre uh, your three preparation of rights. Uh, this is nuts too, because this isn't once per turn. This is an old school card we played in Herald of Perfection. And it literally says add a level seven or lower ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Then you can add a ritual spell. So you basically can search everything and you could use multiple in a turn if you need be. That's crazy. Then of course, the Metronius Draconas, uh, the card can be, you already know to ritual summon any of your Drytrons. You can, I mean, th this card is crazy. And to get it back, you can target a Drytron monster you control. It loses exactly a thousand attack points until the end of the turn. And if it does, you add this card back to your hand. So you only need to play one copy because you only ever recycle it. You're not playing cards like Desires or anything like that. So you'll always get the card back. And then three copies of uh, Dr uh, Drytron Fa uh, Fafnir. 
Bathmere, I think it was called. So it's one activated. You add a Drytron spell or trap from your deck to your hand, except itself. Uh, the activation and effects of ritual cards cannot be negated. That's like the key point. Once per turn, if a normal special summon monster faces, but while you control a Drytron monster, you can reduce that monster's level by one per a thousand of its current attack for the rest of this turn, and you can only use one per turn. So overall, it's just a crazy main deck. Clean 40 cards. Extra deck real quick. So we've got the, the Anima. We've got the Link Reaver. So these are all the like Link 1s. He's also playing the Herald of Mirage Lights. That was really cool. This card has come up. Yeah, I watched uh, some of his games. This card came up. The Union Carry, of course, it combos with the Dawn Knight. He's also playing uh, Genator, Transverser. So this linked uh, this linked card of monsters that points to cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. If this card points to two monsters, you can switch control of these monsters. Uh, you can only use this effect. That that's that's just crazy. This is just a really cool, uh, like generic like Earth like rock monster. You've got your, uh, you know, your nightmares, the Cerebus, the uh, the Phoenix, and the Unicorn. That's very standard. Axis Code Talker because you can just link into it and just OTK. You've got your Nightingale. This was a card that uh, other uh, level one decks have played before, so this is nothing new. You got the I don't even know my gosh, how do you pronounce this? The I'm just going to call it the Fucho, so it's unaffected by other card effects. Once per turn, you can detach two materials from this card for the rest of this turn that can't be destroyed by battle, so you take no damage, so this card can buy you time while you get to your pieces. And the last of his extra deck is just versatile cards. You have the Nova, the Entis, and the Makaba. That's, of course, for Dogmatica Invoked. He respected Dogmatica Invoked to prepare with the targets. And then Zeus, because, you know, if you attack uh, with uh, any of the XYZs or anything like that, you just slap Zeus on top of it. There you go. That's it. It's pretty crazy. His side deck, of course, very standard, triple Nibiru, triple Ash, triple Droll. He wasn't maining a lot of hand traps outside of the Lancias and the uh, Herald, so that was enough. And then the two Cosmic Cyclones, the Triple Twisters, and the One Red Reboot to handle back row decks as well as Elf Lich. But that is the deck, you guys. Please let me know your comments. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. This deck is insane. I think we're definitely going to see more players piloting it. If Jesse Cotton himself can get it this far, I know a lot of players are going to try to mimic this and try to do the best they can with this deck. And I can guarantee we're going to see this deck pop up more and more and more online tournaments. And then the next LCS rolls around. I believe it's a 3v3. You can guarantee more people are going to experiment with this deck. But please smash the like button if you guys enjoyed the video let me know your thoughts in the comments below shout out to you jesse i mean you're already the man we already know this just you know uh you know shout out to you for piloting a deck that i think a lot of people were not expecting uh more players to be on and i'm really glad that you know you got as far as you did we really wanted you to win but you know we already know that you're a champion no matter what happens but you know hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck profile if you did let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching